wonder why the hell so many people are trying to tell me to slow down. Seems like motherfuckers should be shutting the hell up and enjoying the show. Yeah. Sukiyana. I mean, we got Sukiyana. I got a celebrity in the building. <laughs> like a real life, like celebrity. Like you really doing your thing out here. You consider me a real celebrity? I do. I really do. When anybody has that much influence on the internet, and when people are talking about you everywhere based off of like your content, yeah. you a celebrity. Yeah. I'm still like getting used to it. You feel me? I'm trying to adapt to it. Wait, I can tell you're really shy. Oh my God. That's why I told you, let me just get my drink in the cup because I'm mad shy. People be thinking <laughs> when they see my uh, social media presence or they see me on Love and Hip Hop, they think that I'm finna be buck wild when they see me, but nah. Mm -mm. Now, most, most business women yeah. understand the business. That's all I am. Yes. I'm a business woman. I'm nothing special. You feel me? I am strategic. You feel me? And everything just. Play out how I want it to play out, but okay. other than that, you feel me? I'm the type that you really can have a real conversation with. I can tell. It's like you're, you, my. I can see the mom in you. Yeah. I, <laughs> I can see the business woman, but when it's time to turn on, it's time to turn. Yeah. Is her voice picking up really good? Yeah. It's cool. Okay. okay. Just, okay. just a little okay. close to the mic. You know, people listen. The viewers have been asking me to okay. reach out to you, especially after you drop the video. Good coochie is what it was called. Okay, we got good coochie, but I feel like you're talking about pussy everywhere. Yeah, pussy everywhere. Yeah, that's that's okay. The, yeah, that got the internet. Like, I mean, your videos have always gotten the internet popping. Of, yeah. of course, your OnlyFans. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for real. And we want to talk about all that. But, okay. like, when I saw it, I was just like, nobody's ever did this before. I didn't even know how to take it. I, I was mean, like, somebody, Nelly, Tip Drill, they kind of they did, did it. But, shit, when I did it, I didn't play it. No, you play. did it. You, you I was me? like... Oh my God, the girls are eating like real pussy eating in the coochie. video. <laughs> I was just like, wow. What? And I thought, you know, I, I felt like, you know, I just wanted to take it up a notch. You know, first of all, one thing about me, I'm very sexually liberated, okay. you know, and I just wanted to say, I don't want to put all the girls in there, different sizes, you feel me, natural bodies, big, small, long titties, high titties, you feel me? And I just wanted to yeah. have a good time with my girls and I wanted to turn up. And it was like an all female. Thing. It was no men there. Like it's That's just. What, I was gonna me? ask you, like, what were the cameramen saying? The like, cameramen, they real professional. You feel me? Okay. They, just, they was just doing what they came to do. But me and my girls, it was it wasn't something where we had to feel like we had to hide or suffer, be shy. It was so much fun. Like it was so liberating. I feel like because it was no men there, and we had a great time. Like we partied so bad. Like fuck the video shoot. Everybody <laughs> turning up. We in the pool. You know, a lot of people came out. So that was like real life content. Like no, that, that they was just captured. Much, yeah. You. So it wasn't like cut. All right, go ahead. No. Eat her out. Cut. All right. Hell check it no. out. They it wasn't. What, it wasn't none of that. They did what they wanted to do. Everything was very much them now, just see, chilling. I, I'm gonna have to ask you some questions. Like, how did you cast for how this video cast? shoot? Oh, it wasn't really a cast. I said I have a video shoot, you feel me? And it's new, you feel me? Pull up. <laughs> Everybody pulled up. I got like a big fan base. So all my girls, you know. Did you have to make them sign waivers in case Hell somebody was yeah. trying to say, oh, I was sexually Yeah, no, uh, everybody, signed, yeah, everybody signed the waiver. Everybody that came up in my shit signed the waiver. Baby, you will not get me today. You feel me? <laughs> Y'all did that willingly, okay? You feel me? So, yeah, everybody signed a waiver. We had a good time. You feel me? I saw Tip Drill, and I was inspired by Nelly, because that's one of my yeah. one of my favorite rappers. You feel me? He had a big time. And I said, you know what? I want to top this. And that's what I did. You feel me? So, I feel like 2020... Was it two, is this 2021 right now? Yes. Okay, 2020. Bitch, I don't give a fuck what year. Bitch, I had the biggest video. You, the, the biggest... The, the content, the biggest... The most pressure mm -hmm. that ever ever happened. I'm the first one to ever do that. Like a whole, like it was a whole porno. You feel me? Like No, it, well, it was like, what's up? Take the phone off the table. Take, take the, is it vibrating? This one? Oh, okay. Is it vibrating? Okay, cool. I probably didn't take mine off. But, um, and you look beautiful, Thank by the you. way. I like Thank the blue. You. Black people, especially black women, look good in blue. For real? Black yes. I, I love I love blue the, and I love yellow ones. The us. skin tone. I remember I saw a guy, and it was like fifth grade, and he was real black. 
Mm-hmm. But he had on a blue color like that, even though he was ugly as hell. <laughs> he looked good, Suki. He looked Very good. Right. I, I love colors on us now. Yeah. Especially yeah. black women. They tell us we can't work. Let's get back to it because I'm going to get yes. here with you. Yes. But let's go ahead and get back to what we finished yes, right here. Yes, yes, yes. Because yeah. <laughs> I will talk your head off, girl. No. That's what we're here for. That's what, and I, I'm glad you carved out time because I know you're busy. Mm, no, we're good. <laughs> so, you know, the reason I want to start with the video because that's what really just said, you know what? I've been watching you do your thing. I've been watching you shake the internet up. Yeah. I remember it was the video with you and Bill and people got pissed. Like, yeah. when you, I, I guess maybe you was giving them head and you, I don't know if it was throw up yep. everywhere. I love to throw up. Was that real? Yeah, it was real. I love to throw up. Have you ever threw up on some dick? I, what you do when you suck dick? What I think do? I'm a virgin at you sucking a virgin? dick. Uh-uh, and girl. sucking dick. Like, Why? not like, I ain't never sucked dick like that. See, let me tell you something. Like, no, <laughs> something. When you've got somebody that you, 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 like, yes. once, you got to be aligned with a person. Yes. Your chakras got to be all on the same level. And one thing about it is I feel like when you sucking dick, that's something that you, you need to be free with it. Yes. You, like, fuck the lashes, fuck the makeup. Like, bitch, do you. Have a good motherfucking time. Show that nigga how much you love that nigga. For real. No, for real. I've been married like 16 years. For real? Yes. Oh, yeah. You got some good pussy. He yeah, ain't never I, let that go. But the head game, I think my head game could be a lot stronger. You know, seeing But that's something that you just skills, gotta feel. Yeah, seeing your skills. My husband showed me a girl, it was on um um I forgot what it was called, poor hunt. They call it Thropy or something. Thropy, yes. I never heard of that, <laughs> but I, the name is shout, funny. Shout out to Thropy, okay? Thropy, shout out Thropy to you, my girl. Put her head back on the bed and Thropy took the whole dick down. Oh, I seen that. Yeah. This was coming up, like you could see the thing going yeah, in she there. W- and he put all his like balls in her <laughs> mouth. Like, and he had a big, he had a big dick. I mean, and my husband was like, Can you do that? I was like, I, I can't. You ain't try. You didn't I try. I gotta try. You gotta try. Girl, I gotta start you gotta stretching. Do every- you know what? I think everybody gotta do everything before you say you don't like it. You know? I, I'm not saying I don't like it. I just said it so just do you, it do looks you hard. like sucking dick? I do love sucking dick. It's fine. I love it's like it's in. like a, a yes, painting, make I it do. like painting a picture. Yes. Like, you know, I, I I envision like how I'm gonna suck his dick today. But it's just because <laughs> it's so I do I really do. That gets me. That's my that foreplay. Funny. Okay, that's my foreplay. Like visioning to, it. Yeah, <laughs> to get it. Like and then like when it comes time to putting it in the mouth, he's he's African and I can't fit it on. Oh my God, it's not yeah. you out of African from what um Mali. Mali? Yes, West okay. Africa. I know that's where right. I used to talk to a Nigerian before. Yeah, they they you know they they blessed too. Yeah, but. they are. <laughs> yeah, they are. Okay. God that's bless you guys because I love you. Yes, yes. But I love how you take him. I wouldn't even say the porn industry, but you've totally revolutionized female sexuality, female rap. Yeah. And it, it, I got to say at first, I think people were kind of taken aback. Me, I, I look at it all as art. Because yeah. when sex is art to me. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? They want to do sex as taboo, but you have truly made sex an art, and you're from Florida. No, I'm from Delaware. Oh, that's right. You are from I'm Delaware. I'm from Delaware. You, The crazy part is I'm from Delaware. Delaware. Um, I lived in Philly. I moved to Atlanta. I've been in Atlanta since I was 12. Okay. Okay. Then I moved to Miami. So she was really taking on the Florida brand. It's crazy. And made it but, your home. Yeah, but I have a big following out there. People think that I'm from, um, you know, uh, yeah. Fort Lauderdale, Miami. Yeah. But it's just, that's just, it's just in me. And then, you know, my nigga from there, wherever my nigga from, I'm from. If okay. my nigga from Africa, bitch, I'm from Africa. So you you submissive in the relationship. I'm very submissive, but I'm a Scorpio, so I'm very dominant yeah. as well. Yeah. So it's like it's it's like a thin line, but I'm submissive to the right nigga. If he could if he could leave me, obviously. And see, you know, there's this whole black thing that I'm, thing online. Black women can't be submissive. Who and said I'm like, that? Who said that? Who yeah, you I think a, a nigga take <laughs> dating a white woman? They well, that or them. they ain't they dating young women. Listen, and that's why they dating them because they know no grown ass women finna fuck with them. Yeah, that's At true. At the end of the day, I'm very submissive. I love, I love my man leading me. I love when a nigga be very much, you know, aggressive yeah. with me a little bit. <laughs> but I'm a Scorpio. But at the end of the day, I'm just not no regular bitch. I'm about my money. I'm a businesswoman, and I bring a lot to the table. So me and and some bum ass so ain't the same because baby, mm-hmm. I bring the table. You feel me? I bring the chairs. I bring the plates. I bring the food, and I do a lot. 
and I bring a lot to the table. So I gotta have a nigga that can you can top that. You yeah. feel me? Yeah. So it's not a woman not being submissive. You can't walk over no bitch like me. I'm not no doormat. What mm. you could do with her is because maybe she can't she can't bring a lot to the table. You feel me? One one thing I think is when a nigga can when a nigga do everything, which we love men who could take care of yeah. us. I'm, I'm fully okay with that. I'm old fashioned. You gotta open the doors for me. Yeah, oh baby, I am too. You you gotta, you know, help if I'm sick, take care of me. You know, if I need you to go to the store at three o'clock in the morning, yeah. you gotta go. But I'm not talking about <laughs> I'm talking about a man that does everything. Yes, and a woman that everything. doesn't do does nothing but bring pussy to the table. You feel me? They get treated differently. They do. When you a businesswoman, yeah. an entrepreneur, and you know how to bring in your own bag, and you good with or without mm -hmm. a nigga, you get a little bit more respect than other uh, women. We need more interviews with you. For real? We do, because okay. you, you preaching a lot today. I do preach a lot, Dale. That's that my interviews be going viral. Because I've never seen so many people want to be housewives, and then they want to take care of kids. Housewives, baby. Yeah, no. And then it's like, Fuck the I don't want to work, like not, but, but... I love my babies, though. No, yeah. but listen, I, I want to... I love to cook for my men. Okay? okay, I love to cook. Cleaning, that's not me. I'm not the clean. I, bitch, I pay. pay I pay. Do I pay somebody yeah. to do that. But I love to cook for my men. I love to make my love to watch my man eat. I love taking care of some kids. You feel me? I love being a, a, a mm -hmm. house mom. But baby, I'm successful and I like to make money. Ain't nobody gonna tell me that all I'm supposed to do on this earth is be a housewife or be a wife. Bitch, that's not a motherfucking accomplishment. If you fall in love with mm. somebody, there you go. You in love. And whatever y'all wanted to grow into, that's what it grow into. But baby, you ain't going to tell me that being a wife is my biggest accomplishment. Bitch, I want to be rich. I said that. I, I've never seen it. It's like this big-ass movement of women wanting to be wives. And I'm like, what else do you want to be? And I'm a wife. I'm, I'm, a, wife. I'm, I'm like, a fiance. <laughs> and bitch, I'm telling you. Listen, do I've been, let me tell you something about the nigga that I fought with. I've been proposed to four times. I got four diamond rings. This one it's nice. not even the biggest one, okay? okay? I got proposed to four times, okay? My face is on his motherfucking body. My mm. face is on his body, and my name is big as fuck on his forehead. Mm. Niggas love me, now, all right? Now, he moving on Huh? The other relationships if his name is on the forehead? Yeah, I'm, I feel sad. I feel, <laughs> <laughs> I feel sad if you feel me. Yeah. I feel sad, but no. I love, you know what? I don't know. I need to work it out. You making me, you keep talking about this wife shit and making me want to work out some shit. <laughs> <laughs> it does. No, being a wife is not, especially if you guys already have a thing going, like yeah. your partners, your business partners, the kids are good. Go ahead and officiate it because you never know. Something may happen to you. Want, you want but the, the message union. that I want to give out is they can't make us feel like being a wife is the biggest accomplishment. I love being a wife. I love that. I did a wife thing, the music thing, the career thing. I, I love all of it. But mm. baby, I'm just not about to be that woman that just be at the house cooking and cleaning while you out there getting your dick sucked, bitch. Fuck That's all that. Exactly, like, what? What you it's thought? It's that part. And I'm telling you, I was like, y'all don't understand. Y'all busy with these kids. Y'all like looking cute. And then guess what? Oh they my come gosh. Like, you know, wife at home, she cooking. I got time to stop off. I can stop off for an hour or two, just tell I'm working late, yeah, get tired, nah. come home, too tired to fuck up. Fuck all she that. Don't, you know what I'm saying? And I heard, and she tired I, anyway. Let me tell you something. I heard these niggas treat you how you look. They do. And guess what? When you got so much on your table, you taking care of the house all day and the kids all day, you don't get to have no fun. You don't get to get your nails done. None of that. These niggas start treating you like you not that bitch. <laughs> And I ain't with that shit, Because they don't respect anybody cooking and cleaning and but taking care But why the fuck kids. do they want us and to do that all the working. fucking time? Like, insecure. Because a lot of them insecure. You know that. Hell they no. They want to keep a control on you so they can do what they want to do. Yeah, but that's, And they know where you are at all times. Been there, done that. That was young. That's young see? bitch shit. Baby, see? fuck with a grown woman. Mm -mm. So, babies. Let's talk about these babies that you got. Because, like... You know what I'm saying? You 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 had your your, your I know your mom because yeah. you talked about it in some interviews. Had yeah. you quite young, mm -hmm. and then you had your baby quite young, mm -hmm. and then you know how many kids do you have? So I, I got don't, three right you now. You got three. You said right now. Mm -hmm. you, I love having kids. You gonna have some more? The women in my family were very fruitful. I mean, I'm fruitful too, but I, I listen. I had to snip him. No, no, no. I'm you supposed not. to have five kids right now. Five kids. I got two. Okay, baby, I, I want five. I want five. I love having babies, I, I and I just, pop up every Christmas party. I, I pop up with a new baby and a new nigga. Yeah, for real, that's me. So cute. But listen, um, I love you. I swear. <laughs> they always used to talk about my family. Always used to talk about me. Oh, she must be pregnant again. Hmm. Like they used to say little shit. Like, do they? Do them kids know their daddy? Bitch, let me tell you something. I'm rich as fuck. Where y'all? Where y'all daddies at? You feel me? Do y'all know y'all? You feel me? I don't even fuck with the, some of the people in my family. But well, listen, I love having kids. I'm gonna have more children. How and many do you want total? I want about six, seven. Oh. Seven. I love having babies. I love taking care of babies. But what so about cute. your body? 
Fuck the bot, girl. Fuck this shit. This is for the mute. This for, <laughs> you feel me? This for the business. And I love my career, but at the end of the day, you know, I understand right now. Yeah. I have to, I have to, you know, get where I need to get. And, you know, do what I gotta do. Yeah. But soon as I get there, which I wanted to be there right now, mm-hmm. my mom said, "Bitch, you hold, hold the fuck on." So I'm gonna hold up. But as soon as I get to where I need to get to, I'm chilling and I'm having my kids. I love children. I'm not gonna let no career take over my. You know what I really want to do in yeah. life. You feel me? But I want to do it all. That's the problem. See, my thing is, it's like I'm, I'm very selfish, <laughs> and my kids know that, and I have to carve out like we have our schedule. But like for me to be all in, yeah, I'm a Pisces, so I have to take that. Along. You a Pisces? Do you know that Pisces and Scorpios is real? My we real cool. Been a Scorpio, Seriously? Yes. Oh my gosh! I know and he's he love very you. sexually liberated. Is he? I know yes. he love you. Yes, he does. Because Scorpios, you know, we he love me. A Scorpio right. and a Pisces, we're, we're okay. Scorpios are very uh, protective. Yes. And we we like to protect y'all because yes. y'all the fish. Sometimes y'all y'all swim in packs, yes. and we don't trust everybody that you be with. Sometimes, yeah, he do. Oh my god, we love y'all. Yes, I know. We, we have to protect me. y'all. You yeah, feel me? Because it be like sharks and shit want to come after y'all, and y'all got a lot of mouth, and y'all like to do a lot of shit. We got to protect y'all <laughs> for real. Y'all very very open, like no big for real. I want to help the world. Yeah. I'm like I'm I'm talking about nonprofit organizations. I literally I see a girl walk in with her baby. I pick her up. He's like, yeah. why are you picking up people off the street? And I'm like, but that's, that's how Scorpio. Scorpio's like that too. He not like that? No. Okay, he I tight on the pockets and stuff. He only only like that with his family. Anybody outside? He's yeah, like, I ain't got it. I no. I got a whole family, and you single, and you ask me for money. You should be able to get some money, and I got a family. <laughs> See, no, that's how guys are. But I'm obviously yeah. when I'm with, like, I was just driving. We was just driving, right? And we were riding down the strip, and we seen a a baby and her mama and her grandma. The baby was sitting on a cardboard box. The oh. Mama was in um a sun chair, and I'm like, oh my gosh, we have to do something. Cause listen, I would never try to take a baby from her mama because that's her mama yeah. and I just want to help them you feel me so I just gave them everything in my car I gave them I have sun chairs in the back gave them sun chairs I made Bill give them all the money in his pocket we done gave them I had yeah. Boosie you know Boosie got um, noodles he yes. got ramen noodles I had a pack of it like a big pack like what, 20 of them yeah. I gave them to the baby you feel me I just want people because I, I remember being like poor and stuff yeah and I wouldn't want nobody to take my kids from me just because I can't make ends meet. So I just gave them everything that we had. Our car, we I don't care. It was alcohol. That's how I am. And my husband has to drag it because he's like, we ain't gonna have stuff. shit. You keep giving it away, and yeah. I'm like, fuck all that. Fuck. Get it back. I'm like, you get it back. Yeah, you fuck get it back. That. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. And he he just don't want me getting you know because in the family that everybody expected. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. Well, so he tries to create boundaries, but I do have a boundary. So when people ask me, they keep asking me. I'm like, you know, you gotta ask my husband they don't want to go no to oh my gosh they so don't. I, I know i know what you mean because you that's how okay bill i don't want to keep making this about bill but you're making it about your husband me and bill no, publicly, I'm just saying, yeah, we're publicly yeah. broke up right now uh-uh. you feel me? You know, publicly broke up yeah but you're gonna get <laughs> it out. i don't know i don't know i don't know but this all i know is that he won't let people ask me for stuff because he know yeah. people will try to get in my area, and I had to get to the point where I was just like, you got to ask Bill. You feel me? Yeah. Ask him. That's your, that's your barrier, it. so yeah. you don't have to say yes or no. Like, ask but Bill. I know I wasn't supposed to talk about him on this thing, but okay, whatever. Yeah. I don't bring him up so many times. Y'all know I love but that man. But you love him. But no, but we just so ghetto, and it's just like, this is, I want people. Y'all are not ghetto. That's no culture. Week, but it's just like ghetto to the world. Listen here, Juvia's Place understood the assignment. They have everything you need to create the perfect face in one place. Take your fine ass over to JuviusPlace.com or your local Ulta Beauty store and check out all of their luxury products that won't break the bank. Juvia's Place prides itself on presenting you with only the finest formulas and most pigmented shades. Take your look to the next level with unique eyeshadows, full coverage foundations, bold lip colors, and much, much more using my code WINE. Get you 10% off your online order. I've got the perfect way for you to boss up on your CMOS. BioForce by Embrace Pangea is all the benefits of CMOS put in an easy to take capsule. CMOS is already nature's vitamin, so with those benefits plus burdock root, plus moringa, plus bladder whack, you'll have a better immune health across the board plus a shit ton of energy within seconds. Visit EmbracePangea.com for your well-deserved boost with BioForce because you deserve it. And don't forget to use your coupon code Tasha K for 10% off your 
first order. Listen, I know that life has been kicking all of our ass lately, but you do not have to look like it. Walking around with dark circles like I used to, acne, hyperpigmentation from not wearing that sunscreen or nah, knock all of that out, adjust your crown, and return your skin to goddess status with Regal Rose Club. Purchase their vegan skincare cleanser, moisturizer, and mask using the link below. It's all made with organic and natural premium herbs. Get your glow back with Regal Rose Club. They don't know ghetto unless they lived in the but ghetto. But so many people say stuff. It's like, like okay, so I'm going to just get the cat out the bag. Okay, okay, go ahead. All right, me and Bill were young, and this is our first time, like, okay, being engaged. Never, you feel me? This is something, mm-hmm. a marriage is something new to us. And I tell, um, like, the, the producers and stuff, I'm like, listen, y'all want us to go head and head and bringing up problems, but okay. If it stop, if it hurts us in real life, then what? What can y'all do? And guess what? We at the point where it's just nobody can't do nothing but use us for entertainment and stuff. But that really hurts us Damn. in real life. Yeah, and it's just like you know that's somebody I really do love, and it's just crazy because we're we know what we got, but the world looking in is like they think that we're ghetto as fuck, and it's just sad. Like it's like they think that we're so toxic, and it's like. This is what people go through. Like, people argue. People fight. Yeah. People have ups and downs. I thought that was something that marriage was about. Like, you know, y'all go up, y'all go down. Thick, thin, it, it, it's, cold, it's, hot, you know? Marriage is hard. Yeah, it's really hard. But it's it, hard. It, it, I, I feel like it would have been um, not that hard if I wasn't famous, you know? I feel like, and I and I talked to a lot of reality stars, and I yeah. was, that was going to be my next process with you because at the end of the day like you have a family yeah you see what i'm saying and you know what you guys have is real but when you invite the world into your relationship you're no longer listening to each other anymore because the comment section the blogs are just in it you know what i'm saying yeah it's it's, so much it's overwhelming and so it's like you can't listen to him no more because everybody else is louder everybody is so loud right it's like the show portrays me a certain way and portrays him a certain way and it's just like some of the arguments it just looks like it's just me arguing and it doesn't look like it is just all the matches like a story or whatever and it's yeah. not really what the problem is but like in reality yeah, chop and paste the problem yeah and it's just making <laughs> it look weird yeah. but i don't i just wish maybe you know he's he's not a famous person like you feel me so he don't understand like some stuff you can't can't talk about as mad as you are you can't go live and tell these people this and stuff like that because like then you put it out there to the world and now when you try to resolve things and do stuff it's not going to work because everybody has something to say but I, I really do love that guy but I was going to ask you like and I can tell you guys love each other I mean I see the videos Ooh, yeah you can tell like it's real genuine love and any man right because Suki, at first when you started doing all the fans, I was like, is she doing it with different people than when I kept <laughs> seeing it with the same oh guy? My God. Like, oh, this, different this people, girl. No, I said, this is a real bit. And then when I saw him, <laughs> I saw him propose to you. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I wasn't going to, you know, I thought it was the sweetest proposal ever. Which proposal? The one when you was in the house with your kids. With the kids. I thought that was the worst. I, I thought was it sleeping. was sweet. You know what? Yeah. <laughs> And guess what? The first thing you woke up to was love. Yeah. And I know to you, you like, wait a minute, I'm Suki, motherfucker. Yeah, I know. Like, I need a... It should have been two proposals where he does it in private. Yeah. And then one for he the did world. The, he did the one for the world. But I thought that one was so sweet. It and he was, was like, I thought it was going to be nice in front of your kids. And I'm like, me too. I know. It was. It's just, I don't know. I I really, I can't believe it. Like, I'm just really so I was gonna, I was going to, like, smack your hand for that. Like, don't for do real? Bill like that. I know. I be doing don't Bill, do Bill so like, like sometimes. Bill. <laughs> and he just be trying. He do not yeah. know. <laughs> like, my mama, my mama be like, Suki, he just trying. He don't know. Because, like, I yeah. mean, the people that he have dated in the past like yeah. I just I don't feel like he had a lot of respect for them like he mm-hmm. just um talking to girls and and treat them like a girlfriend but don't give them the 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 title you feel me get to yeah. do what he want to do you know got baby moms and shit mm-hmm. I said you're not gonna make me no baby mama I'm sorry I'm not having your baby and um mm-hmm. you feel me? I got proposed to him you know and he treat me very well and I love him I just wish I don't really know how to fix things like that but people don't understand they think oh I'm just like some famous girl and I got so much money and all that but they don't understand like 
Vildan did so much for me. Like, you know, like from... And you shouldn't even have to explain that. I That's shouldn't. Your man. Like, he, he That's just your... been there for me. So, like, mentally, they... physically, like, every way. Like, the man has bought me a freaking tractor trailer truck. You know, I don't, when I got locked up, he, he was there to bail me out. He done put me in my house in Miami. He done, he done did, he done did this stuff for me. And it's like, people just don't want to believe because they, like, because I'm, I'm, I'm successful, but mm -hmm. he has been there for me and I love him so much. Like, I got, I got to give it to him. Look, now, now I got, I got, this is where my experience come in at, okay? I've been married 16 years. Before that, I was in a relationship seven years. You know, in between that, I had my little thought, you know, <laughs> Stages, you know okay. what I'm saying? Some Stages. of them turned into long term, yeah. you know? Um, and so one thing that I would tell you, when you are in something real, you have to protect it. That's why I respect I Beyonce and Jay-Z because even though you see Beyonce out here a lot, yeah. you don't really see Jay like that. Yeah, you don't. And you don't let the world question them. And I feel like after, out of all the stuff that you're doing, you put your sex life out there. Yeah. You put you out there. You put your, you know, your family out there, your kids, something you have to protect. Your I don't brand is protected no more. Your brand is protected, right? Mm. But when it comes for something that's really real, like with Bill. Yeah. Like, you have to say, you know what? Y'all can have access to everything else but him. Yeah, but, it's, uh, like, child. It ain't too late. Just yes, call is. on him and be no, like, Bill and has his last... own career. I oh, know, okay. Yeah, this is Bill... our last season together. It's going to be me. I, I, I think it's bigger than the show. It's just the whole world, the blogs, everybody, yeah. you know? But I don't know. And you don't want to be out here dating as a celebrity. I don't. It's not you, easy. These streets is not for you. No, like, it's they're not, not for no one. <laughs> they're <laughs> like, not. Wanna... I got somebody who know who I am, exactly. and I ain't got no time to be. And <sighs> we'll go through, because you guys have gone through it together. Because, like, I'll never forget when you you posed in front of the storefront, and you was like, bitch, I just want, I only did OnlyFans. I'm shutting down my OnlyFans to get me a store and get off fucking oh, food stamps. Oh, and I got my store. Was that true? You no. was on food stamps, though? Yeah, yes. Well, how, do you think something's bad? Wrong with no, that? No, but the girl, one you didn't have had food stamps. Yes, absolutely. Oh, okay, I had, yeah. I had them when I no, was coming I had, through college. Yeah, I had them all the way until I was famous. I occasionally, <laughs> illegally, but oh no, I, and I still do buy. I yeah, still do buy. but no, yeah, I was. Yeah, I definitely had food stamps. I, 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 okay, my mama wouldn't let me get on Section Eight. I'm just tell you that. But I, Section Eight is a lick, though. It is a lick, but my mama <laughs> wouldn't let me do it, and even though I needed it, she wouldn't let me do it because mm -hmm. she's she's saying if you get on Section Eight, my mama from the hood too. She said yeah. you gonna you gonna stay on there. You are, and you all will. my friends, everybody that I know, they never leave it because it's. I mean, I think it's good for people, but at the end of the day, it's so convenient if you only gotta pay this much. If I'm paying twenty two dollars, twenty two dollars, bitch, rent, I'm never letting that go. Twenty two dollars rent. Yeah, I'm never we're letting never that go. Leave it. I think you never leave it. I forgot who it was, the rapper from Louisiana that had made it real big. You know who I'm talking about? Louisiana. He was from Louisiana. He did the bounce music. But how says I who, forgot. Who about Big Freedom? Big Freedom. Well, no, Big, Big Freedom. I think it was Big Freedom. Did time. You already that. know. I'm gonna say allegedly because I don't know all the details. But he he was still on the system allegedly, right? And they get caught up with them. Like, how you doing a reality show, but you still on the system? See, I'm glad I See, got off my <laughs> say, I'm glad I got off my uh, food stamps just in time because they cut me off. You hear me? Listen, but I, it was so convenient. I was pregnant and, and tried to take the Medicaid for the baby. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. And my baby, too. I've been at this for 10 years. I love food stamps, baby. I might buy them. Whoever yeah. might got them for sale. I was like, my you know who to hit up. paying for this, so why I can't yeah. use it? It's for real, it's funny. Yes, Wait, our, so our taxes is paying yes, for it. So why the fuck we can't use it? We can't use them. Right. Why, why the go right. Democrats. Well, that's a whole nother story. So that's the Democrats yes, that's behind that's that the, shit? Yes. For real? Mm -hmm. I thought that was for the poor. Mm. Oh, wait. wait, 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 wait. The section that keeps the poor poor, right? The section eight keeps the poor poor. The section eight keeps people on section eight, right? See, I'm gonna have that's what I'm gonna have oh to bring you back. It's the system. They don't want us winning. So who the bad guys? Everybody. <laughs> Everybody. <laughs> that was a plan what? device, but that's a whole nother topic. Damn. But I don't see. I remember I got pregnant when I was 19, right? They yeah. keep the baby because I didn't want the. 
You yeah. understand? So I it was understand. not a it was a package deal. I didn't yeah. want you, so I'm not keeping your baby. Yeah. And I'll never forget the pediatrician was trying to talk my and my mom was trying to talk me into keeping the baby. And I was like, no, my mom was made up. He was like, well, listen, white white doctor. He was like, I'm a pediatrician. I just got out of medical school. I have five kids with my wife. Yeah. We drew, we drew food stamps, Medicaid. Everything up until I finish medical school. And I'm like, that ain't me. I'm not doing it. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'm not doing that. Mm-hmm. He said him while he was in medical school, his wife, they were living on the state. White guy. White guy. For real? Yeah. And he's a doctor now. He's a doctor. He's a pediatrician. He's a doctor. So was he trying to, he was convincing you to yeah. not go through it? He was trying to tell me, I said, sir, listen, every girl I know in the hood with a baby, Barely makes it out the hood. I don't know how I did it. It's so hard. Oh and my you gosh. got three. Like yeah. I couldn't imagine. I didn't have like, any babysitters. No, that's why some family see? members. Are, I can't fuck with you now, bitch. I ain't got no money for you. <laughs> I don't got no money for you. But yeah, like it was just so hard. Like I was. I've seen myself going to my shows and coming back the same day, the next day to take my baby and take her to the bus stop. Like it's just see? so hard. I, I could barely help with homework. You know, trying to be successful and not having no help from no niggas. Like it was just very hard. How do you feel how, like about your kids? I don't know if they know what you do. They just know that I'm famous. They don't they don't even know my music. Like okay. they, they have my kid my baby's is young. Okay. You know but they when got, they get to high school and they, they say your school, mama Sukiyana. Yeah, your mama Sukiyana very successful y'all what you too. Gonna, guess what, what my kids my kids baby my daughter uh-huh. just like she got a smart ass. <laughs> you feel me? It ain't I, my kids is very tough. You feel okay. me? You know like it ain't they ain't nothing sweet about them. I got a crazy mouth and they do too. So at the end of the day you feel me? I taught my son how to roast, so they play with him in school. Mm. You feel me? Gonna roast the fuck out of them. And my daughter, you feel me? They not playing with nobody. You say anything, my mom Suki, her, her mom Sukiyana, and she she gonna say yeah. My mom Sukiyana, we rich, yep. <laughs> my mama bought me a cat. We got dogs. Guess what? We got we got pools. My mama got Bentleys. Like that's how that's that's what it is. I know that y'all y'all other kids can't relate to but that. But do you worry about maybe some potential bullying for like? It ain't oh, no bullying. My kids, mom, my, my kids, box. No, my kids know how to box. We know okay. how to fight. We from the hood. But do you? And want we to still fight? be in the you hood. Fight, yeah, they they gotta defend themselves. And let me say some one thing I learned. But baby, listen, my grandma was sensei. I grew up in karate since I was six years old. Okay. My my auntie, they were they in the um newspapers. Okay. You feel me? This we grew up fighting. I love fighting. Yeah, you feel I me? And at, at the end of the day, I'm not gonna tell my kids to fight, but anybody put your mother put their motherfucking hands on you, whoop their motherfucking ass. I got mm. money. Yeah. Anybody touch my motherfucking kids, y'all know what to do. See, I always wondered about that because my daughter, she in high school now, and no one knows I'm her mom. Yeah. No one. They're like, uh, and if she'll see them in class watching me. Or talking, you know what I'm saying? And yeah. she don't, she's just like, Mom, I saw them talking best about you and it bothers me. I'm like, Tantu, does it bother you when you go into school and they ask you how you get, you know, Chanel? And yeah, Lou? what? It don't bother. Kids but, are very much, pri- these kids is privileged. <laughs> yeah. And that's, you know, my daughter, my daughter in Calabasas. See? With her grandmama. See? Shopping, living her life with Kim Kardashian kids in them. You see how the see? Kim Kardashian yeah. and her, her kids is out there? Yeah. My kids out there, too. Yeah. My kids ain't even got to go to school. They got homeschool teacher. You yeah. feel me? When they want, you know, my daughter want to go to gymnastics or my son want to do some extracurricular mm-hmm. activities, you feel me? They could go out there, but if they don't want to go to school and they want to be homeschooled, that's what they can do. And I, I feel like that's probably the root for, like, a lot of celebrity kids. Yeah. So unless you get into an environment like out there in Calabasas where everybody's parents is famous. So ain't nobody yeah. going to come at you. You know, they porn stars, they yeah, this, they nah, that. Ain't nobody they could be pimps. Shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's, I'm it's, not the first adult entertainer. Mm-hmm. I'm not the first uh, raunchy yeah. female rapper. We got a lot of rappers who rap yeah. about this and that. You feel me? But um, I, I, I'm very protective of my children. And I raised my children good, and they ain't nothing sweet about them. They got tough skin. You feel me? Anybody play with them, it's, it's up. I know what they're going to do. Now, as a rapper, who do you relate to the most? I would feel like at this point, I, I mean, I love Nikki. You know? Okay. I love Nikki. Okay. You feel me? She has conquered a lot. You feel me? I used to love a lot of people, but, what about know. What about as far as... Uh, you taking the image that Kaya tried to build. Oh, baby, I love Kaya. Yes. And 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 you're, I can, I'm like, when I listen to you, I see Kaya, I see Trina, because Trina was really on yeah, the chain was, with the yeah, lyrics. Yes, yeah, she was. It's like, you don't know nail, bitch. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? She said that a lick the pussy like me, and you was like, mm. fuck it, we're putting bitches in the video. Yeah. That's it. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, Trina, Kaya, Nikki. 
Trina, Trina, Kaya, and Nikki. But Kaya, that's another motherfucking breed. That's a that's a nasty mouth bitch. She don't <laughs> give a fuck. She, like I just love her so much because of how she don't give a fuck. That she bitch really mouth don't. so fucking nasty and raw. She she'll talk about mm-hmm. your mama, your kids, your grandmama, your retarded cousin, and she don't give a fuck. And that's a that's what I really, I look up to her. And I seen her spare me a lot of times because she could have done came at me a lot of times. Because she but said you, I show her just, a lot of love. You can't do nothing but laugh because I like, show Kaya a lot of love. Look, I love her. Yeah, I, I love mean, when, that when old I see bitch. That, and I see like even though Kaya's not from Florida, but. So you from Tallahassee? Um, Tala- no, she Philly too. I think it's like uh, oh, her guy was from Philly. Yeah, Philly, and then she moved to Florida. So you know what I'm saying. But once you get in Florida, people don't understand. You become very yeah. Florida. No, you yeah, yeah like, for real. I'm not, from Florida. For real. What yeah, part? Panama what part? City. Man. Oh, for real. That's the Red Neck Riviera. Wow. We call it low LA, lower Alabama, because you know we right there on the cusp of Alabama. And you know we don't call white people. Well, white how people. you feel about Kaya? How I, I, I think Kaya. Is an amazing rapper. She's amazing. She sucks as a fucking businesswoman. She For fucked real? up her bag. Big time. I didn't, girl. A few times. To the point where she's only she's using her daughter. Her daughter has the same name. So she don't have to file taxes. You see what I'm saying? Like, oh girl, I don't bad. know nothing about that shit, girl. Uh-uh. No, no, no. Cause Cause listen, I know, I know. But this that's my lane. I know. You see what I'm saying? Like, I'm gonna be honest, ain't shit on you. Nothing. Because you put it out there. You you disarm all of the blocks. So now they're attacking the one thing that you love the most, which is you and Bill. Yeah, I do love me some Bill. You see what I'm saying? So because everything, what they gonna attack you on? Oh, this, oh that. You know what yeah. I'm saying? You, you this, you that. Okay, tell me about it. But have these old Kim Kardashian did a sex tape so what yeah, it's you see not what I'm giving, saying it's not giving that but girl with Kaya girl you don't fuck with Kaya girl. it's not that I don't fuck with her I just hate when I see a black woman fuck up her bag so sing sing me a Kaya lyric did you fuck with her okay um uh, uh do you it you put now, your trust in do it good lick this what you know about like this you, you put should. your trust in a nigga stupid hoe how you feel yeah. <laughs> he won't fuck your best friend and your sister you fuck now, with Kaya Fucking rap. I love that bitch. Y'all. She I love can fucking her. rap and she can read. I think she needs her own like real talk show, but you know, executives don't want to fuck with her because they scared of her one. They can't control her. You know, they want to control you. Yeah. But Kaya can't be controlled. And I feel like why she, you if you feel if you got this insight on her, why you don't sit down with her? She don't want to sit down with She don't like me. She don't like uh-uh, you? She don't like me. How you now? Because I fuck with T.S. Madison and she don't understand. Like, I can still fuck with T.S. Madison and fuck with you. If the end of the day, if Ty, Kai came to me right now and said, Tasha, I want you to help. No parts. I would not charge her nothing. I would want nothing in return. And she said, Will you help me facilitate my business and give me a show with the quality that you got? I would give it to her. That's that's because she's my sister. She's a black woman. Now, if a white woman came, Sister, I don't know how to help you. Y'all don't, I she can't not going to be happy. She's not going to give a fuck about nothing. She's going to be mad at you after she see that. So she gonna, I mean, she always mad at me, though. She always, For she, real? Yeah, she be, ooh, she be dragged. She dragged the baby. She dragged me. <laughs> she dragged, For real? Like, yeah. But at the end of the day, and this is this is no bullshit. I'm not just saying this. I don't do this for people. You understand what I'm yeah. saying? But Kaya has a talent that's unmatched. She is so gr- Oh, my gosh. She had, I Even if her. she's not rapping, Kaya's Kaya's reads is very futuristic. This is where the world is going and talk. She don't but because give a she's fuck. so raw and she don't give a fuck and they she can't be controlled is the reason why I don't nobody. She don't really give a fuck, fuck who she come at. Kaya but not if she give had a fuck. the right person like me behind, I just build my own fucking out. Okay, even though I'm partner with YouTube, like partner with yeah. YouTube, I'm not just a YouTuber. Like I can. I can still say, you know what, if you two want to take my shit down and censor me, guess what? My fans are over here. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. They over here, just like OnlyFans was trying to take down the very creators that built them and put them on the map. I had a lot to say about that shit. Like, how you going to use them, take them from Pornhub, put them on OnlyFans, give them a The people who built, the people, the women, the, the sex workers that built the app... Have been working so hard and built that shit up to right. the top to the point that the celebrities start to started to work with them, yeah. and then you go and you put the put the celebrities and go and show them love and this celebrity and that celebrity, and then say you're not gonna do that no more. And these are the women who went and built the whole thing, built the, and then you're gonna take their check from them. Like, that oh, we're not crazy. doing it. They're trying to move into a a more corporate direction. Nah, but you always had to fuck build. with the, 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 the people that helped build it, but they they changed, they reneged though. They, they did. They came back and was like, we're not touching anything. We're yeah, not don't do it. it. But here's the thing: OnlyFans is 
been on been out for a minute. People don't know that. They don't know that. But when they really it. when they really start introducing influencers like yourself, yeah. That's they didn't when introduce they me. Private. They didn't introduce me. Well, no, me. you you got yeah, on the I platform and next thing we it's know, like Patreon. Yeah, you know, everybody. <clears throat> when I posted, when I said I made that being them, them beings from OnlyFans, I had everybody on my line. Even Boosie Badass hit me up, Suki. Tell, let, let me yeah. know about this shit. This OnlyFans shit. You feel me? That's my homie too. But like. People been reaching out. People been wanting to take it serious. And next thing you know, Beyonce in the song talking about my start of only thing. You feel <laughs> yeah. me? Yeah, but yeah, you feel me? Home. For them to just rebrand, and that's how they do. And they, uh, uh, sadly, a lot of corporate companies use a lot of, a lot of black talent mm -hmm. to build, only to try to switch it over to make it all. I mean, white people been doing that for since I know. the days of time. I know. Our, so four, I went, our forefathers were the one who who built America. Yeah. So let's not forget this is just enable this in their blood. Like, well, they you know? ain't my forefathers, but they the, they them people forefathers. No, well, who, who your forefathers? They somewhere in Africa, somewhere. Africa? I gotta do a test. You gotta do a test? Okay, all right. I need to do a test. Let's do a test together. <laughs> I think I'm from Mali, like my husband. Mali, okay, period. Because yes, I'm where well, guess what? I'm from Briar County, just like my nigga is. You feel me? Wherever my man from, I'm from. That's what I said. I'm from Mali. I'm Mali. And people think I'm Mali in any way. You know okay, what I'm well, that's where you're from. That's they where your do. man from. They that's do. where you're from. But let me ask you a question. So when you did that video shoot, okay, Pussy Everywhere, did you have to ask them to do that? Like, no. Do you, have, do you have to ask the girls to say, okay, I want you two to, hey, or they nah. was just going they on just, at the party? They fun girls. They like to have fun. That's why they rich as hell. You feel me? They want to eat pussy, eat pussy. I'm not finna, girl, eat her pussy. I'm not finna do that. Cause bitch, ain't nobody finna tell me eat no pussy for no camera. If I want to, bitch, I will. Ain't nobody never tell me do it. You feel me? So everybody just, we just had a good time. Everybody turning up. They really love the yeah. song. The song make you want to dance. You feel me? And I was really, when I heard the beat, it just, it gave me a very much New Orleans bouncing. Yeah. This was inspired by Lil Wayne, Nelly, everybody. So that's 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 what I wanted to do, and I did exactly what I wanted to do. I fucked the internet up. I'm finna fuck them up again. You feel What's me? What you about to drop? Yeah. Is is it's gonna be bigger than the one you just dropped? Cause you the only one had yeah. Twitter popping in a long time. Like Twitter get about hundred thousand retweets. Yeah. I you had you had it popping. Like yeah. I was like, let me go to Twitter. I don't ever say let me go to Twitter. Yeah, I think I think everyone was seeing that video. On Twitter. Yeah, everybody. And I'm I'm thankful, you feel me? I love the love. But let me say you, me, I did it and I seen Lil Nas do something like similar and he got so much backlash. Like I thought I was gonna get way more backlash than I got. But they didn't. They gave me more love, and then they were being very like mean to Lil Nas. Yeah, and I don't understand that Lil Nas's music is so nice. It's like, so great. Regardless of what he does in a music video, people have been doing shocking music videos for centuries. How can they be mad but, at what he did? And if you look at my video, and this bitch is eating ass, like. Why I the think it's because has to stop. it's a double standard and it's not fair because it's so much double standards in music like it's it's the straight man against the women and now it's the the everybody against the gay men and it's just like well, who cares what people's sexual preference but is? people want but people got mad when the gay men were in the closet. When they was in the closet, in the closet, but now they out the closet. They mad. Yeah, they gonna be so mad. So you want them in? The, you want them in the closet still? What's going? On? Like I'm, I'm just like you got to pick a side. You know, Superman is gay now. That's what I heard. Well, I said, bitch. <laughs> listen, let me tell you what I said. Listen, I, said, I love gay people. I'm, I'm definitely part of the LGBTQ community. You feel me? I done ate. You feel mm -hmm. me? I done did me. But my thing is, bitch. If Superman like dick, bitch, I like dick too. Nobody don't give a fuck. Like, ain't nobody like, I think that, I just want to say this in a way where, I don't, bitch, you can't cancel me, bitch. I do the canceling hoe. But listen, um, if Superman like dick or he like hoes, nobody don't give a fuck. But at the end of the day, bitch, kids want to see motherfuckers fly and sh do powers and save the motherfucking day. They don't give a fuck about a, a motherfucking Superman kissing a nigga. At the end of the motherfucking day, Let's just keep the kid, the, the kid shit, the kid shit. And I'm an adult entertainer, bitch. If I got to tell you, y'all doing too much, y'all doing too motherfucking much. Since the straight people got something against the motherfucking um, Superman being gay and the gays say, well, bitch, why why, why y'all don't say nothing with Superman kissing the hoe? How about let's just cut all that motherfucking kissing and sexualize the shit out the motherfucking kids network and let the motherfuckers just save the motherfucking day and shoot shit and fly. 
That's what I feel like. Let the motherfucker fly around and say the motherfucking day. Fuck yeah. all the kissing. The, the I, niggas I, I, and kissing the bitches and this fly around. That's what kids love. It's starting to seem like y'all motherfuckers is it's, it's for the adults at this point. Let the motherfucking kids watch Superman save the motherfucking day. We don't give a fuck what he doing. I ain't hating because, bitch, Superman People like understand. dick. I like dick motherfuckers, too. But let the motherfucker fly and shit. But I, I like that you said that because people don't have to understand. There's a lot of people out here that aren't parents. You understand what I'm saying? And we just want as parents, our kids to just be kids. They're going to be fucking the rest of their whole life. You understand what I'm saying? I don't really feel like I could talk that much because my, my pussy everywhere. Pussy no. was everywhere. But, bitch, what I'm saying, that shit but was on. That shit is for adults. Now, bitch, I'm not on Cartoon Network. Popping pussy and eating a cat. Superman need the motherfucker <laughs> save the motherfucking day. All we seeing him is kissing niggas, bitch. <laughs> and I don't got no problem with that, bitch. I kiss niggas too. Do you, bitch? But like, what I'm seeing is. I, want, I don't want people to be so angry and think that, oh, it's because he kissing a man. It's because y'all over-sexualizing cartoons for kids. Yeah. It's for kids. Now, bitch, don't sit there and say, well, bitch, you out there throwing up on dick and sucking dick. Bitch, yes, I did. But that's for a motherfucking adults, and that's on only fans. I'm going to try that tonight. I'm going to try $20, bitch. Go ahead and pay $20 to see it. Superman <laughs> need to save the day. Batman, all that bisexual shit. Bitch, nobody give a fuck. Bitch, I'm bisexual. You think I'm finna go on a cartoon on Cartoon Network and do that shit? Let the motherfucker fly and save shit. And if the gay community is even seeing it, I know a lot of black gays, big influencers that seeing now y'all bitches doing too much. Let the motherfucker fly and save some shit. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it's just like why why everything has to be about sex or sexuality. I feel like they trying you know? to get um like more views more people to stay in tune because nobody give a fuck about what the fuck but Superman doing. Watch, every time bitch, got Superman movie. been gay. We been knew he was gay when he yeah. had a motherfucking thong going and a fucking cape. Bitch, he been gay. Nobody, you know, we don't need no confirmation. We knew the motherfucker was gay <laughs> when he had a motherfucking thong going. All flying over the city with his ball stacking his dick hanging over everybody's fucking body. Bitch, I been knew he was gay. Let's put the wine down for a second because at times like this, we need to take a shot of the olive leaf extract because the olive leaf boosts our immune system and it has been known to reverse high blood pressure, lupus, diabetes, and certain cancers. Check them out at myoliveleaf.biz to learn more and to order or simply click the link below in the description box. Now back to the wine. AdamandEve.com. I'm talking toys, bondage, lingerie, and so much more. Plus, they have 24-7 customer service, so you can order at 3 a.m. if you ain't coming, if you get me, okay? And if something isn't working out, you can send it back within 90 days, no hassle. And if that's not enough, you can also take pleasure in knowing that 20% of their profits goes to help fight the spread of HIV around the world. So go on ahead and log on to AdamandEve.com. Use the code Tosh K for 50% off one item plus free shipping in the U.S. and Canada. Some exclusions apply now, but hurry up and visit adamandeve.com so they can make you come. So you agree with Lil Boosie? What he said? What Lil Boosie said, you know, they trying to they trying to push our kids to be gay and stuff like that. I, like, in he, a he way, be, like, I feel let, like, why the fuck, I feel like, why the fuck is anything, children shit being sexualized? Yeah. And for that, right now, yeah. it's showing that it's always been sexualized. Yeah. Like, with, with um, like, a lot of these superheroes coming out bisexual, it's showing now when the gays say, well, they have been doing this, or they have been kissing hoes, or they have been doing, and it makes me realize it's always been overly sexualized. Mm. So at this point, stop all that sexual shit and let kids be motherfucking kids and let the motherfuckers fly and say mm. the day and take that fucking you know, thong off them, bitch. I, no. I, take the thong off. Take the thong off them too, bitch. Since we all talking about what the fuck Superman, he been doing with hoes. Please, Superman, please yeah, take the thong off. Take the off. fucking thong off, bitch. Her Suki. Yeah. Um, you know, I found out that Ren and Stimpy was gay. For real? You don't it, remember it Ren and Stimpy? He used Did to like, act Stimpy. like he was hit, he was hit him from the back. Yeah, in the cartoon. As, as a kid, you don't know. But when I watched it as an adult, I said, oh, they was gay. You are they right. was boyfriends. And they was boyfriends. Ren and Stimpy. They used to act like they were giving each other hair and he was hitting it from the back. For real? He used to be like, oh Stimpy. Gosh. And yeah. they used to watch yeah. that all the time. Yeah, he be like, Stimpy. Eh, 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 eh. For real? Yes. Who the fuck was behind this shit? I don't know. But you know, they have always said, oh, how Hollywood was 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 very was ran by the LGBTQ, but, but I don't, they I don't they couldn't mind. be as free as they wanted to, so it had to be had just a little bit, but not too I much. I don't feel like it, it matters if it's gay or if it's straight. Right. It's just, oh, it's just like let children the, be. Yeah, let the, and then, it's always been a little bit grown though. Like, but for, they was fun. The kids like that shit though. When I was kid, I when they used to see them farting shit, yeah, and, you know, so it was like, yes, they're doing the stuff we 
can't do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like it was funny, but like when I when I watched it as an adult, I was watching it with my sisters. I was like, oh, they was like, you did you know? I didn't know. There was the old episodes. They was gay. Yeah. They was boyfriends. Wow. And then my daughter's watching this little show on Netflix. It's it's a remake. I forgot what it is, but um, you know, there was a storyline between two, you know, gay boys in the high school. Yeah. And they snuck off and went and made out in the in the principal's office. Seriously? Yeah, I said now now you you know you first of all, when I watched the, the teenage high school shows, yeah. you know, they the boy the boy and the girl would just kiss, mm -hmm. but it didn't make out. You didn't see them making out. You didn't see them in the couch on the principal's office. And it's just like it's like fuck the world, fuck fuck back. I think fuck maybe they're spot. trying to just like liberate the um another community, like the LBG two Q community. But at the end of the day, I don't have no problem. Like, yeah. at the, it's it is what it is, but Let's just, like, if we're going to start working on our generation, what's going on, mm -hmm. so everybody can be happy. Let's just, when it comes to the children networks and the children things, let's let the kids be the kids. Let them, let them watch what they watch, but let's not over-sexualize You're only a kid here. once. If y'all want to see some sexy shit, come to my only thing. And kids going to sneak and watch it anyway. I used to watch real yeah, sex and shit. Yeah, because I was watching, on, um, what it was called, Adult Swim. Yeah. I used to love watching SD shit when I was a kid. But did you watch real sex on HBO? I, yeah, I did. When See, I, was, I, I used to wait to everybody was sleep. Yeah, I used to sneak and watch it it was so it was just like so much like i just used to like watching it but now what made you so sexually liberated like was you like what, what i'm just a scorpio i'm okay. just a scorpio we just love it like i'm not a nymph or nothing like that but i'm just i just love my body mm -hmm. i love women i love i just love everyone like it's just not something that i feel like needs to be like in a box with a bow over it like yeah. this is I just speaking, I speaking of loving your body I saw you take up for Meek Mill and you're trending oh bitch you know right what? now turn online cause let me tell you something I gotta I, put I the video in I'm gonna put the video in just so yeah. they'll reference with the white earlier. man saying black women this is what you want and Meek Mill got the posters of the black women sticking up the cartoon with the, the pink pussy and he was like this is what you want black women y'all need to stand up and then you was like let let celebrate women's I think that fucking is. white man need to take that motherfucking wig off, bitch. And listen, <laughs> you so worried about what a black woman, that's a black woman painting, bitch. Mm. Okay, that's art. And I'll be, there's a way that I deliver things might stir people off, but you need to listen to my motherfucking message because mm -hmm. guess what? You go in the museums and you see all the motherfucking white people with their, their paintings and their statues fucking and you see white ass and titties and coochie all over the motherfucking museum. You do see them and Greek you go statues. to Rome and you go to Italy and you go in the motherfucking Catholic church and you see ass naked motherfucking angels and you see these motherfucking statues with them little motherfucking wee wee showing out in public but when it comes to black people it's not art it's not considered art but it's considered art when y'all motherfucking do it. Y'all uh. can kiss my motherfucking ass and that nigga that was in front of that motherfucking um uh bus that had so much to motherfucking say bitch take that wig off. I don't appreciate it. I don't play about my motherfucking people. I don't. I love black people. And what we consider black art, that's black art. If that artist said she wanted to paint naked women and that's what she f considers art, that's her fucking art. Y'all ain't got the motherfucking right to come over in our community and dictate what the fuck we doing. But Bitch, they, you already dictating what the fuck we can say. Bitch, and you keep acting like it's the uh, about the LGBTQ community, but it's really not about that. It's really about y'all censoring with people, with platforms, and y'all want us to always agree with y'all and always... Um, Make sure we are in line with what the fuck you say. And if we're not, you try to cancel us and you try to act like it's about something else when it's motherfucking not. Bitch, the LBGTQ community are, is black. And the straight people are black. And we should be able to say what the fuck we want to say. And feel like how we want to motherfucking feel. It's coming down to the art. It's coming down to everything people say. It's coming to how people feel and their different opinions. Bitch, how about stop police brutality, motherfucker, when you got in front of that motherfucking bus? <laughs> bitch, why you ain't come out there when Breonna Taylor got killed, bitch? With that old motherfucking wig on. I'm tired of these motherfuckers, for real. I'm sick of them. They talking about some motherfucking what, what? We got real shit going on in the world. No, it's, they, it's they true. They talking about some uh, ass. But I mean, they, they've always made a mockery of black women's bodies and now that black women's bodies are celebrated now it's a problem so it's a putting, problem. Up, putting black women in the circus because they couldn't believe how voluptuous a black woman yeah. was you know what I'm saying like just all their, their skin and now we're celebrating all aspects of us I didn't me really see shit wrong with me damn that I said it's a poster I wouldn't have even noticed it was yeah. naked women at all I would have been like okay that's just some art you that's know? a young artist and Meek helped her she's a young black artist that's her big debut she got her painting on on buses on, at, on all over the world right now and that's something we should celebrate 
That's her art. She yeah. made that painting. And I feel like, shut the fuck up. If you mad at me, just say you mad at me. Why stop. was you, why is you why was you crying earlier? You said you was, was crying. Because it made me fucking mad. Because bitch, stop playing. Stop playing with the painting. I like the painting. Were you getting were you, was you upset because of what people were saying in the comments and Hell stuff like that? I don't that? give a fuck about what they say about me, but at the end of the day, I'm very passionate about my people. I'm passionate about blacks, I'm passionate about gays, I'm passionate about both. But what I wanna want people to fucking know is that people are still entitled to their opinion. And you cannot cancel no fucking black man. Because he wants his album cover to be a painting that a black woman them painting. And look how much money she's black making. Look. But black women bend over. It's the culture. They they the only ones that really can bend over. White women are going to what buy asses to bend over. Been <laughs> <laughs> what about when the fuck the motherfucking Catholic <laughs> bending over kid? I know I'm not allowed to say that, but the bitch, let's, let's stick to the truth. Like, y'all motherfuckers need to worry about what the fuck really going on. Not no motherfucking painting. Leave Meek Mills alone. Bitch, if you don't like him, just say you don't motherfucking like him. If you don't like Meek, just say you don't like him. Don't, don't keep trying to talk about a fucking painting. What about the shit he's saying? Y'all not worried about the lyrics. Y'all talking about a painting? A bitch, sit there and look at it and figure out what the fuck you feel like it is. Yeah, I mean, he should have did that in front of they that. They just can't handle that, a black uh, pussy. Uh, they not uh, used to a fat pussy. That's what it is. Yeah, he should have. used to this chocolate skin. He should have did. What, what's I, I've been drinking. What's the, the statue that was defaced in uh, New York? Uh, the guy who got uh, who got killed by the cop. It was um, it was George. Um, what's his jo name? Uh, Floyd. Yeah, the, George, George Floyd. Floyd. Now this, he should have got in front of that statue and said, "Black people, this is what you want." He didn't get in front of the. He didn't get in front of that George Floyd statue and call that shit out. He didn't get in front of the pop smoke. Um, uh, when his, yeah, when his, his grave cat, site. He, he didn't get in front yeah. of that. He didn't stand up for n none of our people. But you want to talk about a painting? Are you mad? And they have. Uh, yeah. I think he's mad because um, a black man. It's successful in America. Or you're mad at a black painting that a black woman did. And it's just a lot of success in the black community right now. It's, it's giving very much you hating. Yeah, all them motherfucking people out there hating on a bus. We the wave. You got to get used to it. If you ain't getting used to it, then die. Are you going to start using your platform more to speak up for a lot of these social injustices do. and stuff do. like that? I yeah. always do. Yep. Yeah. Because, I mean, you were probably the only one that came to Meek's defense. Everybody else let him get Yeah, because everybody dragged. calls that hate train, but they know what's up. Like, at the end of the day, I know y'all, y'all, if you hate Meek, you hate Meek. He should drop the album right now. Yeah, like, drop, everybody the motherfucking drop, album, drop the album. Meek. It's time. These motherfuckers is hating. That's yeah. what it is. Like, at the end of the day, I like, I, I love every black artist, but I'm not going to let y'all do that. And, bitch, y'all play... I really want to talk about Go what ahead, go. About Dave Chappelle? I, I ain't seen nothing wrong with what Dave Chappelle did. I mean, at the at end of the all. day. You need some old patrol? No, I don't. You sure? I'm getting in trouble. But listen. Listen. listen <laughs> we're, at the end of the day, I love gay people. I love, listen, you look at my, every from head to toe, bitch, a gay man styles me. That's yeah. who I deal with. That's all. Because I love gay men. My cousin's gay. And he, own, he, he runs my store. But at the end of the day, this is what I want to say. With the Dave Chappelle situation, Dave Chappelle might not agree with this or that, but he has the right to state his opinion. He's a black man. He can. It was a time where we weren't able to have freedom of speech. All right. It was a time where we weren't allowed to learn how to read or write. And if we did, we would get beat and whipped and hurt and raped. OK, Dave Chappelle played a lot in our black culture and our black community all the way back to when he left and went to Africa because he wasn't fucking with the white folk. So please shut the fuck up about canceling him. And I support all the trans and all the gays that support me. But he's telling the motherfucking truth. What he said was, what the fuck he said when he said, um, like, what, what the did. baby did. What the, what, uh, he, the baby got, like, stoned for what he, tell me, tell me. I don't that remember shit, that the particular the part. Play I don't shit, remember, I, but I can put that clip in here. But I don't remember that particular part. But I remember him saying, you know, yeah, you better not have hurt a gay, a gay person's feelings, but you can shoot another black person. And you what, see what I'm saying? saying is he's not but, attacking. That's okay. And that but that's statement the truth. Right there, and that statement right there, he's not attacking our gay community. He's telling his opinion, and it's the truth. And I and I'm and I'm very happy that you can't play with the gay community right now because it was a time where people treated them so fucking bad. And right now they're so liberated, they're ready to fight. Bitch, you play with them, bitch is up. They finna whoop your ass. Mm -hmm. But he has the right to say that. You can't cancel him. Like, come on, you're not canceling Dave Chappelle. Like, stop playing. Y'all not canceling him. Not, he don't even give a fuck. Bitch, you seen him move to Africa when it, or, 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 and he had millions and millions of dollars that he could have got. He left and he went to Africa. He don't, he don't fuck with nobody any motherfucking way. But he played a big part in our black community. And that's a uh, one of the funniest 
com- comedians, okay? Like, he's a black man. He mm. has a right to say what the fuck he got to say. No, let's not. No, I don't want them to switch it and say, oh, it's the black men and the gay community. It's, it's black men in the gay community. We are all black. We are all the same people, okay? We have to understand that we are all, we can still love each other and not agree with things. And when can't we laugh about things that go on? Life, y'all bitches oh, would be so... This cancel culture... Give a fuck. And I'm glad that Netflix took a stand on this because like I'm it's like we're too. not going to have comedians if they're being censored because comedians take our issues, painful issues, yeah. social injustice, and they make them funny. And they help us fight depression. There's right. so much going on and you, you watch these uh, stand-ups and it makes you happy. Like, but it's this generation... Uh, uh, Z, they sensitive as hell. No, it's not even that. I think they're, they're making, they're trying to make it okay with being sensitive. If you know this shit really don't bother you, just shut the fuck up. Leave them the fuck alone. Dave Chappelle, like, come on, we love this. You don't have to watch. You don't even gotta watch it. You not, you don't like comedy. Don't watch. Don't it. watch. Comedy is very offensive. Because I was just at a co- comedy co- comedy show and the motherfucker was talking about bitches, niggas, but he was talking about everything. Yeah, he was talking about everything. So I don't when Dave Chappelle he. Did he did he say anything disrespectful towards about, gays? Did he think no? And think about your show. Think about his 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 TV show. They loved when he was playing the characters. What got mad when he walked away from the fifty million dollars to yeah. continue playing very like really uh, controversial characters like a black man being a part of the KKK. And he would blind yeah. calling black people niggas and stuff. Yeah. It's like I mean, but for him to say it, all of a sudden he can act it out, but he can just never say it. But no, why you why watching, can't we say what the fuck we want to say? You can, an and that's what they're trying to do. Go back to slavery times where they said we couldn't have freedom of speech. And it's it's just slowly but surely getting back to that and it's not right. At the end of the day, but they Netflix be took a fuck. stand and said, guess what? They even suspended transgenders that were on their staff that spoke out publicly against the company for Dave Chappelle. And the, and the CEO said, you're suspended. You work for us. I know trans who, so, who, who who don't disagree with Dave Chappelle. I know trans right now mm-hmm. who are standing up for Dave Chappelle. It's not, it's really not the, the, the LBG to commu- community. It's, every, it's not it's, them. Yeah. It's really not them. We yeah. know who it is. Yeah. It's not them. It's who not them. It I, we know who it is. It's not them because he, he didn't disrespect them. And no, this, he was this very, comedy special, I didn't really think it was all that funny. He, he spent he says, time. He says conscious shit. Conscious shit, he but he addressed. But he this comedy special I felt like was a time to address a lot of the stuff that he got canceled for or tried yeah. to get canceled for. And he said this like when he one, did right? the, the tease, he was like, "Don't you know the tease? They holding everybody back from the LGBTQ." And so this comedy special was him addressing a lot of the things that the public was saying about him, and it really wasn't a lot of comedy. So it was more so like, "Oh, he'd throw a joke in there too," but yeah. more so he he spent time responding because he can't do it on Instagram. Okay, you see what I'm saying? So that was his time to respond. So I was just like, "It's not even really a comedy special." Yeah. He literally was just kind of. Talking. They just he's talking. Just, he's just speaking his mind. He didn't even smoke. Normally he smokes when he cracks jokes. I feel like whether a gay man speaks his mind or right. a black or a black gay man speaks his mind or a black straight man speaks his mind, y'all both have the right to speak your mind and y'all are entitled to your opinion and y'all not getting canceled for talking about the shit that you believe in at the end of the day. So fuck all that. Mm. Bitch, kiss my ass if you don't like it. I don't give a fuck. I, I just don't. love how you just don't care. I don't. And you know, you're not going to be ran by some machine. You're not going to be persuaded by Do you feel like I said anything artist. wrong? No, you didn't say I nothing wanna, wrong. I don't, don't want to hurt I'm, anybody's feelings. I'm Do you think fr- I hurt anybody's listen, feelings? Have you seen my show? You I, don't give a fuck. I don't care. I don't give well, I, did I, I tell say them. anything that could hurt people's feelings? I no. just I want to be able to deliver my message in a way. I'm not trying to please everybody, but I'm I'm definitely not trying to hurt nobody's feelings. But I feel like Dave Chappelle should not be canceled for being entitled to his own opinion. He's a black man. He's a successful black man. We're not letting them white folk take him out again. They already did. They tried to do it one time. All right. right. He came back. He fucking with Netflix. Netflix fucking with him. We need to be happy. And the gay community, we fuck with him too. Everybody has the right to to their opinion. We're just going to leave it at that. Suck my and I've seen like gay comedians talk about the LGBTQ. 
Oh, yeah, they don't play. They don't play. No, they, they will be play. the first to drag the fuck out of them, but they yeah. drag heterosexuals, too. So it's like, if heterosexuals can get dragged, yeah. why the LGBTQ can't get dragged? And I said that on my show. It can, you can't have it both ways. You can't sit up here and laugh at jokes about heterosexuals, but as soon as somebody make a joke about the LGBTQ, now you want to get offended. It don't work like I that. I think Dave Chappelle don't knew watch. when he said what he said and he stated his opinion. He knew that this was going to happen, but at the end of the day, this might be where our generation needs to, you know, Break down this bridge where black people can't speak anymore. We're allowed yeah. to speak. You feel me? Like, yeah. I feel like he just made himself a sacrificial lamb for this situation, and it's just opening a lot of eyes. And for the gay community, a lot of them that have his back, it's just showing that y'all not stopping black people from having freedom of speech no more. It's not. The gay community is where they at right now, and the black men going to have freedom of speech, and everybody going to have freedom of what the fuck they want to do right and now. And even the women comics, the same thing. Like they, It's like... I grew up in a time where art is art. Yeah. Comedy is art. What you do is art. What I do is art. And I, if I like that art, I buy that art. Yeah. If I don't like the art, I pass up and go to an art that I'm attracted to. But why am I over here in this art lane that I don't know nothing about? And there's an audience for everybody. So why are we cross in getting into audiences where we know we're not going to really... It's like hecklers. You know what hecklers are, right? No. Hecklers are the people that sit in the uh, in the audience while a, co a comedian is talking and they intentionally fuck up the show. Oh, okay. So now because of COVID, there's not a lot of hecklers to kind of get in. Oh, you suck, but you don't know what the fuck you're talking yeah. about. Intentionally trying to get the comedian off track so they can't really do what they're 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 there oh, to okay. do. Yeah. But social media are the hecklers yeah, now. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we're gonna oh cancel Dave Chappelle. I don't think he gives a fuck. What when you've built your own, you don't give a don't fuck, and that's what I try to Dave tell everybody Chappelle too. Like one fuck. Listen, give me about two more three years. It's it look. Cancel, cancel your debit card, but you can't yeah, cancel yeah, me. You're not canceling, like it's not. Okay, and that's when I say cancel your debit card because you ain't got to subscribe to the app or anything <laughs> that I do. So that's what yeah. I'm saying. Cancel and go on, yeah. you know. But um, on this show, we will always allow people and embrace people to be them real selves, and that's why I'm so inspired by you because you know people will talk shit, they will judge you, but at the end of the day, you're doing shit that people wish they could motherfucking do. Yeah. You look like how people wish they could motherfucking <laughs> look. Okay, you Thank say you. shit that people wish they can motherfucking say, say and you're a mom yeah. you're a business woman everything you know and you get to throw up on dick in public <laughs> and, and I'm like and it be fine Suki like I, I <laughs> Listen, I have to do that, and I respect I respect the game, and I respect the hustle, and I, I did see a big accomplishment. You were in Cardi B's video. Oh, yeah, the WAP video. Yeah, the yeah. WAP video. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Even though me yeah. and Cardi at odds, but I can respect, like, you know what I'm saying, the craft and the art, and yeah. I've never really hated on her as an artist, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, she's a really uh, very, yeah. very good person. Were you at person. her party? You oh, didn't no, get a chance no, to go? I went to the first birthday party, party, but I couldn't go to this one okay. because... Like I, I've been. I had to come down here, and I had a lot of business. I was like, I'm so mad. I missed it because first of all, I, first of all, I love reggae. Oh, you want to show? Yeah, I know you want to show. I saw the so videos all fun. over Instagram. I was like, okay, that was. Yeah. I like, I like, you know, different shit. And so, my um, birthday coming up next time. Um, okay, I, I want to go. Oh, you gonna come? Uh, yes. You gonna get into character? Yes. You gonna bring your husband? Yes. Okay, then you're yes. invited. I will let you know. <laughs> Actually, in a couple weeks. In a couple weeks. Absolutely. You doing it down in Fort Lauderdale, no, Miami? In ATL, baby. Oh, oh, yeah. well, I'm on. Here. Yeah, me and Boosie manager are gonna go link up after this. Okay, and we're this man, I want Boosie out. in studio so bad. I love Boosie. His manager, I can't get him. I've been trying to get my people. Been trying to get him. B O S I A B A D A Z. Listen, Z, that's I me. was at the show at the State Farm Arena. We had the Skybox. You know, For Skybox real? come with the unlimited alcohol, the food. Yeah, and you know, the show was okay. I mean, Gucci man, he was okay. You know, he was Gucci. Gucci. Gucci didn't have a lot of energy. I just felt like he didn't want to be there. But his music I was love popping. Gucci. No, his music was popping. It was like Gucci got some of the best songs, but he was just walking across the stage. Just he wasn't really, you know, trying to get the audience into it. Gucci that nigga. I fuck two Gucci. Chains, two chains really got with the audience, and then Jeezy got on, and I guess Jeezy took too long and was throwing. Man, shade. Jeezy, Jeezy is the biggest thing in Fort Lauderdale. You kind of really, Brad you kind of brag candidate playing the Jeezy from ten years ago. The snowman every. Night. The snowman. Fuck you. Hell yeah. I thought they would be playing Ross, but no. Nah. And Gucci, don't let your mouth write yes. a check yes. that your ass can't cash. <laughs> I'm the lawnmower man and your ass is grass. 
Honestly, I do my favorite rap. No, music. I'm serious. Like, no, it, I I enjoy. Everyone's like, oh my god, you rather? I love rap. I listen to rap For all the real? time. Yes, I love. I know all the artists, but you know what I'm saying. When Gucci came on stage, it was like Jesus said it was okay. You know what I'm saying. But when Boosie hit the stage, the whole energy just changed, and then they unplugged the goddamn mic. Man, he started Boosie fighting. gonna be that nigga forever. And he started fighting. Man, fuck all that boop shit. No, he, they started you... fighting on the stage and took that shit all the way back to the backstage. You can see, I'm sitting there and, I, you know, because the sky box so high up, and I'm like, damn, like, Boosie didn't stop swinging. Like, Boosie was like, this in the coat. He didn't stop swinging, and now he just got charged for that. They I put him see Boosie ain't, they I didn't see Boosie tour. fight or do nothing like that. I didn't see that, but all I know. No, he was trying to but he couldn't get so that basically no, they got away we don't know nothing we didn't know we don't know nothing about that no we don't you're right yeah we don't know see sometimes about that. i'm a blogger yeah no, and i get the no, snitches no 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 we don't know the boosie that nigga for a lot of that they play that nigga no, every night as well when boosie came out on stage it was so exciting like i was like this is what we need you know what i'm saying he came i he was just yeah, like boosie hit me up for his know? um his uh topless pool party man that shit yes. was so fucking lit yes bro so titties was everywhere and i support of this documentary, a lot of people was downloading that bootlegging. I don't believe in that stuff. Yeah, that's I don't believe in bootlegging. When it, when it to I, you, like, people were asking me, Tasha, did you watch it? I said, when I get time to watch it, I'm going to watch it. And I watched it and I, I bought it. I was doing to my motherfucking video. I bought it. Pay they, for the shit. You know how, listen, I I, I have YouTube, Instagram, Girl, Twitter. Girl, why you do that shit to Lil' Kim? Where I do the Lil' Kim? The, I don't know. I, I do nothing to Lil' Kim. Yeah, what are you I talking you about? about Lil' Kim. You know that's a good girl. <laughs> Listen, Suki, let me tell you. Let me tell you. I'm going to give you a good explanation for I know for you that. like her. I love Lil' Kim. She, you know, I you, love all of the, look. Uh, I mama Miss Cabana Gucci watch the Prada. Yeah, I I fuck with Lil' Kim. However, Suki, when I see someone like you, and you are embracing your chocolate skin, there's a lot of girls. You know, come. I don't know if you came up when I came up. Being chocolate wasn't the thing to do. Yeah. And Lil' Kim... I think it's not right now. But, but when, when Lil' Kim came out on the scene, Lil' Kim is beautiful. Her skin... She didn't even need makeup. Was, yeah. She's but looking. then to see her transform, and she was like, well, you know, the dudes that was cheating on me, was cheating on me with Spanish girls, and it was a lot of stuff. And so for me, posting that picture was like, listen, I'm going to always... Well, if Lil' Kim come on right now, I'm going to always like, give but her you know, flowers. But you know, really hurt her feelings. Like, Lil' Kim is sensitive. You you feel me? She, she, day, but she know me by hell now. Nah, like, you got to understand people, like, you never know what people go through that make okay, them not Okay, I'm sorry, copy. Kim. No, because you could be I'm trying sorry. to help other black women, but Kim, she's a black woman, too. You got to imagine a, well, the, the, how, how I feel like she, she was a black through. woman, No, I feel like she was. Yeah, they were trying to be the No, I'm not, not trying to be I don't like that. No, but please, like, come on. No, people. for real, listen, I love Lil' Kim. I love her craft. Seriously. Lil' Kim, if anybody deserves their flowers, Lil' Kim, Deserve. She and I feel flowers. like she don't get the respect that she needs to get in the industry but because I feel like you could have hurt her feelings with but that post I don't that think you did. I look Kim is tough. No, but, she's not. She's a woman just, just like we keep her tough on the outside. She she hurt me at times. But so, you know what? How many how many dark skinned women do you see doing what I'm doing in my position? They're usually behind the scenes. How many? Yeah, they're behind the scenes. I've seen how many they we being told we too aggressive. We can't have short hair. We can't we can't say this. We can't say that. I get beat up every day on the internet because they saying I can't do certain things. And so when I see someone who is absolutely beautiful, and 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 Lil Kim, I, I know that originally her skin color is like this and it's still like that, but she wears lighter makeup still to this day. Cause I see her hands. Cause when you bleach. These girls are bleaching everything. They're not just bleaching their face and, and leaving their hands. But what I want you to... I don't... Like, at the end of the day, I feel like you can hurt her feelings. You What you well, said. Well, listen. It is not my intention it's to hurt because, the feelings. Listen, I, I but need surgery, too. I'm like, from Florida. Me? I don't care about the surgery. I'm talking about your melanin. Your melanin. Because then it's reinforcing that thing that black is not beautiful. You understand what Maybe I'm saying? Maybe just tell her that. Tell her that she's beautiful. Tell her that. But she is beautiful. Tell her. She, tell look, her. Kim, you are beautiful. Tell, talk to her woman to woman. Maybe you might. Maybe I, I'll you. hit her up. I'll hit her. I promise you. I'll hit her no, up. No, because that's why they make me cry. No, don't cry. Please. Because I know please. what it feels like for a nigga to cheat on a woman uh, of a lighter color and then make you feel like. Niggas you, you cheat. Feel me? They, but they, she, cheat. they cheat. But Kim has accomplished 
things that black women could not accomplish. Black women were told they couldn't do. They were too dark to do. Her, Missy Elliott, who else? Um, There was a lot of black women on the scene that was really rocking. And for her to get to the height of her career and then change herself, it was like, but you accomplished all this without that. And I feel like it's still a diss to young black girls. I personally feel that way. Because How is you what still she wear, do to herself is a diss to other people? When, you wear, when you wear makeup, I, listen, my family is African, right? On mm-hmm. my husband's side. It pisses me off when I see them ask the makeup artist to put them on light skin makeup, but your goddamn skin is black. And they tell them, I don't want no makeup the same color as my skin. Well, maybe it's Make not it lighter. Her. How about let's talk about the industry? How about let's not like blame her, but blame the industry? We I have, blame, but how about blame, I blame. Have you watched um, America's Next Top Model? Let's talk about them. Yeah, Let's we talk can talk about, about them. them. Let's talk about them. Because we, we, if we, we, yeah. we speaking, we can talk I've about them. I've talked a lot about the, I mean, I've talked to a lot of the top models on my show. So, and they said this shit, like, this shit is, is brutal. They want you to be a certain way, look a certain way. And I felt like Kim accomplished all of that. When Diddy came to her with a, with a deal, he didn't tell her to, to lighten herself, you know? Don't cry, Suki. I'm about to cry because that's so sad because I know. She's a woman. And she we, is a woman. But as women, don't we hold each other accountable? We can, but that's between us. But I, it's not like it's a white person doing it. Like I'm a black person. Listen, if I hurt her and feelings, I, feel like you are so I will make a video. that you don't care. It's not that I, I care. Rest up for no, you I don't. have feelings. Don't I care? Do you have feelings? I swear to God, I do. What, what kind of feelings is they though? I have feel. I have. Have you ever cried before? I'm, yeah, for real. Jasmine, today, today cried? I cried today. For real? Okay. Yes, I cried today. I cried to all of them because they didn't tell me you was on the books today. For they real? told me tomorrow, and I'm like, this is Suka Fakiana. Are you serious? Like, how, we are all black women yeah. doing a business. I can't be unprofessional in this yeah. business. I have to work twice as hard than the white blog yeah. because I'm black. You do have to work twice as hard. So, I can't be wasting your time and you done carved time out for me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, my thing is, like, when I see black women doing it, and that's why, Suki, you, you don't ever, do you see me, do you see yourself on my blog? Have you ever seen yourself on my blog? I don't know why. Never. Because you do say a lot of stuff about people. Where I never. Know. But you've I, never I, seen, you, you have never been on my blog. And it's not because I only thought I wanted to talk to you when you put that video out. And yeah. I was like, oh, she really don't give a fuck. Like, yeah. I respect that shit. But, Kaya don't go on my blog no more. Uh, uh, you are not on my blog. The only reason I do Meg the Stallion is because I feel that Meg the Stallion is on a lot of fuck shit out here. Like, you got a prime <laughs> opportunity. You got okay. a prime opportunity. And you, 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 I don't, you know, it's a lot of things. That's a whole nother topic. But Lil' Kim, when I say that if Lil' Kim walked in here today, Seriously. And I've ran into Lil' Kim before. And her people will surround her. It's like they know who I am. And it's like, I'm, I will never come at you and be like, oh, this. I will give her her fucking flower. You are the queen. This is the queen bitch. Maybe she never had nobody tell her, like, woman to woman. But as a black girl, I grew up watching her. And I, and I, I love I, her. And I saw her. And I saw her make it, regardless of her not having. Yeah, whatever. The when she was. wore that outfit to the dam, and people was like talking shit about her, and I'm like, J Lo walk around in this shit all the motherfucking time. Yeah. But y'all want to come? And I saw you pay how much to look him with yeah. that outfit on, like, and she wore that. Well, outfit. Maybe that might have made her feel some type of way that when she did something, everybody was mad. But when we had a higher, higher color woman, J Lo, walk around in it, and everybody glorifies it. That's sometimes. But I, us. I grew up. Think like with the damn. If Lil Kim did this, if Mary J. Blige did this, I can do this. And but when I saw her yeah. change herself, I was like, "What? What is going on?" So it makes me seem like, well, maybe I, well, maybe I shouldn't like accept. Going on? What do you feel like it's going on? Maybe I shouldn't accept myself. I feel no. That's not what you felt. I swear to God. What else did you feel? I felt like what did you she feel did... about she was feel? What did you feel like she was feeling? I felt like she felt like because she had the money, she could be who she wanted to be. Girl, yes. I what? That's as a kid. So you coming felt like up. when she changed, which allegedly she changed her right. skin image, you feel like you weren't. Maybe you shouldn't feel like how you shouldn't be a black woman. Maybe you should change. Yes. Okay, but you felt and like she lot, felt like just because she had money is the reason why she did it. Well, if she would have had the money before the career started, I believe she would have done it. But why? Why did she want to? Why did she want to change? Because why she never like loved. I feel like she never loved herself. Why do she you feel was? like she never loved herself? I don't know. Think, but we got. But get I had plenty. But I had plenty of reasons not to love myself. You understand what I'm saying? But I've always pushed through. And How I, did you push through? What did you do therapy, to push through? Therapy. Therapy. 
You know what I'm saying? Surrounding my, myself with people who love me for me and wasn't using my skin color as a, as, as a uh, just, you know, a barrier. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I get cussed out every day. So I say, why you don't wear weeds? Why you don't do this? Because I like I like being bald here. Yeah. I, I'm lazy. I don't like doing my hair. You I know think what I'm maybe, maybe if she had those type of people in the industry don't really have... <laughs> What you might have. You yeah. feel me? People might not have the, the supportive friends or the therapy. Well, that I, makes... I, I had to fight for it. I didn't get it until I was in my 30s, but had I would have been around the wrong people in my 20s, I'm sure I would have did some fuck shit. I, I would have done shit to, to make myself look different or, or feel or feel belong. But I just feel like Lil' Kim is a representation of more than just her rap. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. She is a woman. She is a black woman. And I feel like you know what I'm saying? When I see them pictures coming out and I and I look at the hands and I see the makeup five shades lighter, it's like, Kim, come on now. Like, what are we doing here? I, I, my daughter, if I show you a picture of my daughter, my my daughter is rich chocolate. I'm talking about yeah, my rich. Baby is ch- all my kids are very, very, very Like Lupita, I don't know if I'm saying her name right, Lupita Noir. That's that's my daughter. And when and when we get women such as yourself. In the business, you making your own lane, and then you get there, and then all of a sudden you're, you're as light as Kim Kardashian. It's like, what the fuck is going on? I'm gonna tell you something. Like even me being in this industry, it's harder being a black woman, a dark skinned woman, a brown skinned woman, and we see a lot of women who are foreigners who are light skinned glorify and praise, and it does sometimes make a darker skinned woman feel like they're not good enough. So what is the difference between us feeling like that? In her, she could feel what we feel. She's been in this shit longer than us. Mm-hmm. And I agree. And so, listen, I will personally reach out to Kim and apologize. I love Foxy. Foxy Brown has gone Foxy's through the, she's gone through the ringer. Bitch. But Foxy, Foxy is Foxy and she's she ain't changed fine. herself. And I fuck with that yeah, now. She's fine. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But Kim is like, girl, you got to you gotta talk to our girls. Like, because people still. But imagine you sitting around the people on the, the, the sit at the, uh, the, um, the table on um, America's Next Top Model. Imagine you being around them every day of your Ooh. life, and they telling you, "Oh, you don't walk good enough. Your nose is too big. Oh, your lips is too big. Oh, you need to fix your posture. Oh, your your butt's too big. You need some lipo. You need this. This is how you get in the business. This is need how you need to look to get to that next level. And this is all you hear every day. I'm in that. I'm, I'm in that situation where this is all I hear every day. Do you feel like you need to fix yourself more because of I, this? I love myself, and that's why I like to keep people around me who who love me, who tell me. Uh uh-uh, uh, Suki. Don't get your nose done. You're a black woman. You're beautiful. This is beauty hey, right what's here. What's wrong with your nose? People tell me, oh, you you need um uh more European nose. You need to fix the bridge. I you mean, they make tell me that too, and I just laugh. I'm but like, this is what, what I'm we hear nigga, every day. And I love my nigga nose. This is what I we hear love every my day. Lips. I love everything on yeah. my face, and my babies look just like me. But this is something we hear every day, and it does take a toll on us, especially to see women who don't even work as hard as us get to this level and they didn't do anything but just give them a a, high, a lighter skin and I'm never going to play the the victim role because I mm-hmm. like working hard. I already know what I'm going to do but it does pay a toll and it does make us and get I, sad and listen, depressed. Listen, you have taught me a lesson today. Seriously? No, because it hurt her. I know because no, it, it hurt my feelings a little bit. No, I, you have taught me a lesson today. I am sometimes, I'm a blogger but at the same time I think I take my education too far. You know how you had those teachers that just is just too much? And so <laughs> I've been told, no, I've been told that, like, Tasha, just dial it back just a little bit. You know what I'm saying? And so I should have considered her feelings. And and it's not just you, it's everybody doing it. And it's like, yeah. how and does I that, will... you get bees with honey, not vinegar. Mm-hmm. You, if you, you want to help somebody, you get them with some honey. Like, yeah. that's, that's a bee, you get them with honey. Not vinegar, because that's what they used to do in the church. Like they'll say, "Oh, you doing too much? Oh, you mm-hmm. got too many kids? Where your baby daddy's at?" Like it, it, that's not how you can get a message. But I feel like it hurt feelings because it hurt mine a little bit. Okay, and I like, listen. I I wholeheartedly I'm looking at the camera. <laughs> no, seriously, I Aww. apologize as one sister to another. And sometimes it takes that. Even Jasmine, like you know, she's been working with me eight years, and she has to take me to the side to say, "Tasha, you shouldn't have said that." <laughs> See, I'm not lying. Am I lying, Jasmine? She be like, talk- yeah. Like, she be like, what the fuck did you just say? And I'm like, the alcohol got in me. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I like, you know, and it's like, and, and some of the stuff.
stuff I mean, but then I can mean it, but it can come from a place of ignorance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, see yeah, what I'm no. saying? And so this came from a place of ignorance, and it, it takes us holding each other accountable. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. you, you, you here, you hold me accountable. And Jasmine knows if she comes to me, <laughs> I'm 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 like, okay, you're right. But you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and that's just yeah. kind of like how I well, am. But that's really mature of you to yeah, even like, consider yeah. to, you know. Put yourself maybe in her shoes. Because I'm like, look, feel- Kim don't need, listen, look, Kim don't need to do nothing. And if I was into yeah, she's women. she's always defined. Yes, and if I was into women, I would probably date her because <laughs> I love, I, when I see, like, I love chocolate men. Oh, oh my, oh my God. Me too. Like, you, you, I love chocolate gift, men. Gift so God. imagine if I liked women, it would have to be chocolate women. Yeah, that's and, how I am. And Kim's eyes, like, Kim has the most beautiful eyes I've ever seen. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, when she was young, and she would be on, like, you know, when she did that video with Diddy, the first one, that she um, ever did and she had on the all black and yeah. she was on the escalator, the escalator and they had the close up of her eyes I was like damn I'm like I want my beautiful. eyes to look yeah, like that yep. you know yeah. but I, I you know sometimes I can be a little disconnected yeah and I okay. and I appreciate no seriously I appreciate that. No, I, but I love you as an interviewer. I thank like you. I like I like how you express yourself. Because a lot of people scared of me. They don't want to no, come sit real. down. No, for real. Because I tried to thank tell you. people to do an interview, and they was like, "Oh, hell they nah. scared of me." Yeah, you do hurt a lot of people's feelings. Damn, girl. I got the good for but real. Don't have no I was like, I was a little bit scared. I was like, I don't know. But, but they have to understand. Like, listen, at the end of the day, I'm an artist, and I I do. I, I am a comedian, like, yeah. in the works. Yeah, you are. So, like, we will be, like, I will be hitting, like, the stage here soon as far as my comedy. Yeah. And, you know, I was always like, well, talk was my first passion. Mm-hmm. I love to get to know people. Yeah. I love to see what makes you you. And I've it, no judgment here. Like, that's what makes us so unique. Yeah. And so... um but when it comes to people, I'm like, listen, I swear. I remember Melody Hole. She was like, Tasha, I was so scared of you. Like, you had no idea. Are. And I was like, Because they know you don't give a fuck. No, that's only when the comedy, though. When I do my show by myself, I, that's that's all scripted material. Well, some of it's scripted. No, they but... think that you don't give a fuck. <laughs> For I, real. I mean... In some aspects, I don't But they give... think that about me. But some... A lot of people scared of me okay. as well. It is what it is. It's Suki, not inter- with... Suki oh, interviewing me. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> it, it turned it. Oh, my gosh. It turned it to me interviewing you. Wow. Listen. Well, shit. At least but... you got to show the people on the other side. Yeah. You, you know, I mean, they don't I, appreciate it. I know. But, I, you know, and I do need to show. I do need to be more vulnerable. Yes. Like, and if that's I'm what crying, the TV. Oh, my gosh. Go live crying. But, you know, I was taught by my mama. Don't, don't you fucking cry for nobody. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I never wanted to be vulnerable. Yeah, but, but then I, I started to open up a, another side of me, and I, that's when I yeah. really got a lot of fans. Like yeah. when people saw me cry, and they saw me love, and they saw me be in a relationship. They like it gave them yeah. another part of me where they could relate to even more. But yeah, but no, I you, you. I, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a pray about it. Me, I'm a pray about it too. I really do like you, girl. No, I really you like, like your you. Shit going on. you I, really, and, I just thought you didn't like anybody, but no, no you, you seem like you do. I, you, I got your. <laughs> Legs. I got your you got me crab legs and shit, girl. Yeah. <laughs> For real, no. I fought with you, girl. And I really am proud of you. I actually always wanted to reach out to you, Thank but you. I didn't want to write you because I felt like, oh, she ain't gonna like me. She's not gonna write back because I just looked at so, you. Okay, I was in your DM Other a minute stuff. ago. I, I, I just seen you, it. You I didn't that. know I that. Like, I was like, let me write. I had to get the blue check. And then I deleted it. Instagram was like trying to hold me back with my blue check and they knew they had to give it to me. But shout out to Karen Civil, another black woman. They tried to tell down okay okay yeah. who made sure instagram paid my dues and was like look this girl has broken stories all over the world don't yeah. do it like that so doing your she thing. got it going and that's why i got upset when they even tried to tear karen down you know what i'm saying yeah. and i was just like you know what's going on between karen and jason lee that's between karen and jason lee but jason lee that's that's a different individual so i can understand how karen civil feels however i don't take part in you know what i'm saying you got walmart you you buy something from walmart you may not like it you return it sometimes they say you can't return it. And I feel like that's that's the issue with her service. She's helped thousands of people, yeah. but two people want to complain all of a sudden she's not credible no more. That's like you making two songs that don't sell. Does that <laughs> yeah. does that make you a bad artist? No. Right. She, I got some bad songs and I got some good songs, you know? <laughs> right. So, and that's the same thing with me. I make a bad show. Oh, well, the next one, we're just going to yeah. do better around here. Yeah. So, no, I appreciate you. are a real one. Every time you're in <laughs> fucking Atlanta, let me know. You know, I'm here, I'm going to come to your party and yeah. I'm going to humble myself. Oh, I'm humble anyway. Yeah, you humble. I'm humble, but 
but I'm gonna I'm a, I'm a open myself up to people and I'm gonna go, I'm gonna call the people like, hey, you know, I really wanna interview. Because people will be shocked at how much I follow them. And yeah, how much no, I, I'm shocked. I didn't even think you knew who I was. And no. I used to write, I used to write, go to your DM, I used to write, and I was like, no, let me delete. I, and I deleted before I sent it off. And I did it yes. a couple times. Then I just seen that you wrote me. I was like, oh my God, she wrote me. I got to do this interview, but yeah. I'm a little bit scared. So I was trying to hold it off. But then I'm happy I came because, you know, well, we connect. You're a Pisces, I'm a Scorpio. Yes, and Pisces I do and Scorpio is a, is a yeah. perfect match. You know what I'm saying? It's a perfect match. Yes. Yeah, really. So yes. I fought with you. You got my crab legs and shit. You feel me? <laughs> and I hope I hope this interview, like I hope people don't judge me, but they just get a little insight of me. But I'm very really a good person and I don't want to hurt any community or anybody. You know, I hope y'all can like read between the lines and understand what I said and how I felt. And you feel me? If not, you could kiss my ass. But if you do, if you do try to understand this, know it came from a good good part of my heart and hopefully this generation but not I'm not gonna say everybody has to be strong and people can't be sensitive because I'm sensitive but hopefully our generation could um cater to the LBGTQ and the black man and the black woman and just the black community. But we're all, at the end of the day, whether you're LGBTQ, we're all, we're all, we're all, we're we're all the same black thing. people fighting for the same Yeah, we're fighting shit. for the same thing. Yes, which is equality and yeah. respect. But at the end of the day, we got to learn to just, you know, take that, be so serious and just yeah, enjoy and like, laugh Ever about since the Bernie shit. Mac left us, the shit, shit has went, went down. downhill. And that's Steve Harvey's fault because he was supposed to keep us on track. I want I want comedy. I want stand up. Yes. And, and I can't wait to do stand up well, because I love it. I'm yeah. coming. Too. Okay, you coming? We're going yes. Okay, we're maybe we can do stand up. Auntie Hammy, Auntie Hammy's supposed to get on the stage too. Oh, I love it. you know what's all you know about real flaw shit. Auntie Hammy. Auntie Hammy. That's my bitch now. You know she ain't got no one video. Really? Every time I have a big block party in, in Brian County, she guess what she did? Yeah, she, she speaks did. highly of you. Yeah, that's my girl. When I first interviewed her, she was like, you ain't interviewed Suki out again. I said, I'm in the DM. She ain't responding. Yeah. I didn't even see it. That's my girl. No, that's no. that real hood shit. No, she, she, she real Florida. And yep. I fuck with her. And I was just shocked that nobody gave her interviews when she, you know, really sold records the way that what? she did. She's very big. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. And then, you did know, they delete her page? They deleted them on her pages? They de deleted one, but she got it back, though. Yeah. She got it back. Okay. But no. But thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah. What I want you to do is, I want you to sign us out with a with a with a freestyle. Okay, so girl, I ain't need drink enough for that freestyle. <laughs> Where my crab legs at? The you need a freestyle. Oh, Come shit. on, now we got viewers here. Where, the, okay, where the music at? Play some music and then I got you. Y'all hold on, play let me music, play it. I don't know. Hold on for a second. I ain't even got no damn. Uh, damn, I should have played. Play some music my, and then uh, I got intro music. I know. Girl, play some music. We ain't got none. Yes, you do. Look. You got a phone right there. Play some Hold shit. Hold on for a second. But I ain't got no, like, instrumental. You see what I'm saying? You got to so, go to YouTube. Hold on for a second. Instrumental. Let me see. Uh, uh, instrumental. Put on some reggae shit, girl. So we can okay. get them to our party be by. Okay. <laughs> this is so ghetto. I'm not. <laughs> Hold it up to your thing. Okay. Girl, what is, give me your phone. Hold on. What you just it? playing anything now. You said, I said oh. copyright free girl. Girl. I was on YouTube trying to take Let your shit see. down. Well, this is getting ghetto because I'm drunk as fuck. Hold no, on. No, you good. Hold on. <laughs> you ain't drunk a little bit? Oop. I yes, got to handle is. my liquor. That's all. I, I drink all And then you go play this, girl. What is this? <laughs> okay. Let me say. What's that? <laughs> what would you say? <laughs> all right. Okay. All right, this one. Okay, let me see. Okay. AdamandEve.com. I'm talking toys, bondage, lingerie, and so much more. Plus, they have 24-7 customer service, so you can order at 3 a.m. if you ain't coming, if you get me, okay? And if something isn't working out, you can send it back within 90 days, no hassle. And if that's not enough, you can also take pleasure in knowing that 20% of their profits goes to help fight the spread of HIV around the world. So go on ahead and log on to Adam and Eve. Eve.com. Use the code Tasha K for 50% off one item plus free shipping in the U.S. and Canada. Some exclusions apply now, but hurry up and visit AdamandEve.com so they can make you come. Let's put the wine down for a second because at times like this, we need to take a shot of the olive leaf extract because the olive leaf boosts our immune system and it has been known to reverse high blood pressure, lupus, diabetes, and certain cancers. Check them out at myoliveleaf.biz to learn more and to order or simply click the link below in the description box. Now back to the wine.
That was so funny. Yeah, like, that was ghetto as fuck. I've never rapped before. <laughs> ever. Oh, guess what? You a rapper and a stand up comedian. Okay, I'm going to have to incorporate rap, but no. So Bitch, like, oh, right, so I'm going to take this bottle with me. No, that's yours. Okay, please. Yeah, girl, wait. Listen, I got oh. a whole bar at the house. Okay, like, for real. Okay, yes, so this, this is, is mine. I got your crap. I'm going to fuck with y'all. No, <laughs> she's not that shit too. Oh, my God. I just, I just but drink it, please. Much. Just in case, if you are just not getting to know you, you know, we have a vast audience, you know, yeah. from all over the world, like everybody, South Africa, Amsterdam, people everywhere. Where can they follow you? You can follow me at Sukihana Go on Instagram, on Twitter, on everything, on TikTok, and on all that shit. Well, bitch, I'm gonna have to get the fuck out of here because I don't All right, too much. And I'm not to get in trouble. You feel me? Because my manager. <laughs> now, hopefully, I don't get jumped on at no, a party. No, you know what I'm no, saying? No. I'll be like, listen, now, you, you, like, know, don't... you know I was just playing when I said no, that no, on I'm the not show. Take your no, no, that's your that's bottle. As fuck. Suki, Girl, we bought that for you. We bought that. Yeah, Suki. don't sit there and get on that motherfucking camera and say, yeah, that bitch came to my interview, took the bottle and shit. Like, I give this I'm bottle for free. She forced me to type this, okay? Suki, I don't play. This is your bottle. Because I don't like take stuff from people because they like I drink Casamigos. Yeah, you don't know nothing about no castle. Yes, I do. I drink the Blanco. The white or the dark? The Blanco, the white. Okay, so yes. yeah, we on the same. Okay. Bye! See y'all. I love y'all. <laughs> All right, it was getting that good. Was-